Hey guys, welcome to the internet. I'm gonna play a little. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play a little Magic the Gathering cube draft. There's three of eight players in the queue, so we probably got about a minute or two. We have one trophy still. God, we can't even compete. We can't hang. I'm okay with it. Why are you the way that you are? God, that's a good question. You sound like my mom. Little darling, steal it up. Why do I have this Bob Marley song stuck in my head? Ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -boom, boom, boom. I mean, it's a good one. I don't mind it. But, you know. It's in my head. All right, so two minutes is the usually the, the time. We're at one minute now, and we've gotten two more people in this queue. Only draft cards that are good together. That's a good idea. Mike is your enemy. Turns out Mike is also his own worst enemy. The enemy of the enemy is your friend. So Mike is actually your friend because he's his own worst enemy. The enemy of your friend is your enemy. So actually Mike is your enemy. But all of that sounds accurate. Uh, we did mono black literally yesterday. Literally yesterday. Thank you. Daddy Cube, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Almost a year. Look at that. How time flies when you're just literally subscribing to to streamers who do cube drafts. Maybe I should just go Sultai. Have I done full five color yet? I don't think so. But I'm also like not in a in a mood to just throw throw tickets away without. Uh, I mean, this is why I usually this is why the whole stipulation uh, uh, charge I guess exists so that I'm not just like hemorrhaging money on Magic Online. <clears throat> uh, this pack's actually amazing, and look, we have a Demir Signet, Verdant Catacomb, and a Misty Rainforest, and it's predominantly green and blue. So I think this is like the most soul tie signal you can actually get. This is actually an interesting pack, though. There's a lot of good things in this pack. I think there's five cards that are not... One, two, three, four, five. That are not inherently soul time. No hands? What does that even mean? Step it up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to take here. This pack is uh, actually far too Sultai for even its own good. I'm actually tempted to just take Carnage Tyrant. No hands in the picture. <laughs> uh, I think we'd be limited to just lands there and no creatures. I do like Signet a lot. I like Carnage Tyrant a lot, though. This card's bonkers. I'm going to take the Signet. It leaves us open. It fixes our things. Our broken... I'm going to take Watery Grave here for sure. There was a Gonti in there that I like, but being able to start on a Watery Grave following a Demir Signet is pretty nice. Fire Drinker Seder has no visible hands. We don't even know if he has un invisible hands. Non-visible hands. Huh. Mana Leak is pretty strong here. I'm going to take Mana Leak. Was there a Tatiova? Because maybe that'll, that could probably come back and I would actually be okay with taking it. Tatiova is a card that uh, was in the other cube, the more powered cube. And I played it and I didn't like it. I was not a fan of it. But then I watched Luis play it and he actually did well with it. And so now I'm like, maybe I should try it again. No less than a god. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Happy third anniversary. Isn't it our fourth anniversary? Four months? Wouldn't it be our fourth anniversary? Dark Slick Shores. I'll leave you black and blue like this. Also, Jiraga Tree Speaker, bro. That's pretty nice. Uga Chaka. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not actually hearing these. They're showing up. 
It's gotta be Draga Tree Speaker, right? Like we could stay on point and take the Exclusion Mage or the Dark Slick Shores, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Can you guys tell me in the next 24 seconds what I should take? Ooga chaka, ooga 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 chaka. This is this is not a good this is not a good username. <laughs> I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. I'm gonna take Master of La Wild Hunt because now we're Sultai because it's the best combination. I could take this Ral as well and be four colors. I think we're good without. Hang hooked on a feeling cut in had? Do you mean had? Is had the, the word there? I'm going to take Woodland Cemetery here. I think having this, these lands are better than uh, a random Condescend or a Kiora. What's the guy got to do to get Mystic Snake up in this piece? I don't know if Mystic Snake's in the queue anymore. Was it intentional or did it actually just... Uh, you know the typo? I'm trying. I was just trying to make sure I, I decoded it correctly. I would love having, I, I like I said earlier, I think it would be cool to have doubling season in the queue because then you can just like doubling season and then play like a Jace and ultimate a Jace or play a Johnny and ultimate a Johnny and get 100 life and it just leaves you with some cool interactions. I'm just going to keep taking fixing lands over things like Vampire Nighthawk. I, I think the fixing lands are probably uh, a little superior. Abrupt Decay, Gear Hulk, or Dream Mirror. Actually, Gear Hulk is surprisingly underrated in this cube. Or in all cubes, really. I think it's actually very solid. Dream Mirror, on the other hand, can suck my butt. Nothing's coming back here, though. I'm going to take Abrupt Decay. I think five drops do get pretty clogged. Seagate Oracle. That's a nice one. All right. Speaking of five drops getting clogged, I think Find Finality is so good. Is Tatiova better than Find Finality? I believe you can come and suck my butt. Uh, I want fine finality more than Tatiova. Oh, uh, I like a disfigure. Oh, uh, I like nature's claim. I threads of disloyalty is kind of meh to me. Oh, uh, it is for harvester. That's a good one. Wow, look at these. I'm going to take the Kiora because I want to be, I want to be cracking. I want to be what's crack a lacking. That doesn't make any sense. I can't be what's crack a lacking. I want to be making making Krakens. Let's go with that. This guy. Mm -hmm. 
bribery. Here's a funny. Here's a funny take. I'm not actually that impressed with bribery in this cube. A card I am impressed with is Woodfall Primus. However, that dude is the bomb. The bomb.com, as elder people say when they're trying to sound hip. How do you do, fellow kids? Robbery has has left me pretty unimpressed. There's not that many creatures that are like, oh man, I really need to get this out of my opponent's deck. I think I think Woodfall Primus is probably better. I think I think Noble Hierarch is pretty replaceable. I think Woodfall Primus is better. We're just gonna get a Birds of Paradise soon anyway, so it's totally fine. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, Lumbering Falls or Farseek or Ancestral Vision or Pack Rat or Glenelanger Archmage. These are the questions. Farseek, I guess it gets water. I'll take Farseek here. Actually, I like the Lumbering Falls a lot. Um, man lands, creature lands in specific are are pretty nice. Um, especially Lumbering Falls because you can put a sword on it, which is pretty cool. is not great. Disallow is fine. Actually, I don't hate Disallow. This is not a great Nissa. I don't know why this Nissa is in here. She's not, like, super good. <laughs> Timeless is like Nissa. Like, eh, I don't know about Nissa. It's not, she's not great. I just like Disallow here. Vivian Reed is a five-mana Planeswalker that I will definitely take. That. That is a nice one. Overgrown Tomb. And a Simic Signet? Oh, my God. Oh my god. I do like Simic Signet a lot. But I feel like we can get that kind of effect. There's also a potential for a Golgari Signet. I'm going to take the Overgrown Tomb. Having the good mana base is nice. Oh, I'll take Hinterland Harbor. Oh. <laughs> Assassin's Trophy actually seems great. We give them a land, but I don't care. Oh. And they're just going to go some Elstrom Pulse. Okay. Well, I'll take it. Ah, Sword of Light and Shadow. Not the best sword. Actually might be the worst sword. I think it's I think it's actually better than War and Peace. The protection colors are relevant. It's the best card in this pack, unfortunately. Oh, the Farseek and the Pack Rat came back. That's pretty impressive. Pretty sure we just want Farseek. We want ways to ramp into four mana, and I think that's... Now that we have Overgrown Tomb, we can get Water Grave or Overgrown Tomb, which is great. See, this is what I mean. Disregard most of your picks, but the deck seems <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I mean, like, well, that's the thing. Like, then you got to figure out, like, are you doing something wrong or am I doing something wrong? Because it's definitely a learn. It should be a learning experience, right? You should be learning things. But if nothing ever changes, I'm gonna take the Dragon Lord Tarka because maybe we get to a, cho a chance where we can like splash that dude. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six on color dual lands.
Eh, sensor is not a great card, but it is an on-color card. Uh, I'm not going to play Tech Edge in a three-color deck. That's where I stand on that. Oh, well. Splash and Dragon Lord Tarka. Confirmed. Also, like, the only thing Tech Edge is going to kill is, like, a creature land, and they're not that common. There's only five of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ten of them, rather. Ten. I think all ten are in here. I would assume they are. That'd be weird if there was not. Yep. Taking Jace the Mind Sculptor. There's also a sort of body. That pack was actually very good. There's a Muldrifter sort of body in mind. Lots of different things in that pack. I actually like Rash me a lot. Sculpting makes me feel good. I'm about to bust. I do like this Garrick. I think he's good. Draws you a lot of cards. We can also take the Scalding Tarn and add one Mountain for this Dragonlord Tarka. I don't know if Dungeon Geasts is making the cut. Yeah, that makes sense. I do like Bitter Blossom. I don't think it's terrible. I don't hate Solemn either, but... This does get Watery Grave. It doesn't get... Uh, we don't have Breeding Pool, though. Breeding Pool will be in the next pack. Boo. Actually, I feel like Bitter Blossom is probably better than Solemn here. Maybe? This is actually a tough pick. I'm going to take the Garrick. I think it's a stronger card. Rampant growth, acidic slime. I do like acidic slime a lot. It's a nice, it's a nice way to have this kind of effect in your main deck and not feel bad about it. Acidic slime has no hands. That's handest. I don't hate ruinous path either. But we have assassin's trophy, erupt and maelstrom pulse already, so I'm okay with those options. I'm gonna take the acidic slime. Oh, there it is. This is the reason we do it. Oh, boy. People got no respect. Eternal Witness next pack one time. Oh, Sword of Feast and Famine is baller. I can never play Immortal Sun in this cube because I want to encourage planes. Immortal Sun is, from a, a cube design standpoint, is weird because a lot of these decks have Planeswalkers in them. I mean, we'll 100% play Sword of Feast and Famine in the main deck here. And we already have Acidic Slime, so I'm not super stoked on Rex Age. Yeah, I'm going to take the Sword. Time Warp. Again, another 5 drop. Elves of Deep Shadow is an option. Splash Assemble. Wow. I don't hate Vizier of Many Faces, as you guys know. I kind of like Elves of Deep Shadow here. I kind of like Time Warp here, especially with Planeswalkers. Four Planeswalkers. Actually, Time Warp could actually win us the game with Kiora, so I'm going to take that. Could be Devoted Druid. I don't think it's Scavenging Use. There's like not enough strategies in this cube that actually uh, are affected by Scavenging Use, interestingly enough. I also don't like Glint Sleeve Siphoner because there's not many, ener there's no energy cards in this cube. So like, you have this one random energy card that only generates energy from itself. Which is why I actually avoided uh, putting any energy cards in my cube. So I mean, it's it's very, I mean, it's easy to sustain itself, you know, like you just, you attack every turn, every other turn you draw a card, which is fine. Hostage Shaker was a pretty nice pickup there, actually. Um, But the problem is like, it's just not... Eh, it's meh. Do you need card advantage here? I like Harmonize, but I also like Tasker. We only have seven creatures. I'm going to go with the Tasker, and maybe we just play it. Oh, the Rashmi came back. That's pretty cool. Oh, Rampant Growth came back, too. That's also cool. Uh, I don't care about you. No Bitter Blossom, but I'll take this guy. Deck seems great. Boston makes me feel good. All right, so we need three cuts here. I don't know what just happened, but.
I like being able to go Kiora, uptick Kiora to three. Time warp, upkeep Kiora, uptick Kiora to four. Primus could be a bit overkill. I could see that. Oh, I love Duress for the sideboard. That's fantastic. I also don't think we need all of these. I think we can cut maybe a Devoted Druid. Although Devoted Druid, worth noting, does not have... So upside, it doesn't have Defender, so we can't equip it with a sword. Downside, it dies to removal, whereas Rampant Growth and Farseek do not. That is actually pretty sweet. So one more cut, probably Rashmi, maybe. Though I'm not sure. Whenever you kind of reveal the top card, yeah, it's actually lets you draw a card for everything. I like having a good amount of four drops because it lets us. Uh, I'm gonna take out Tassiger. I don't actually care about Tassiger. We don't have a lot of creatures. We have a lot of Planeswalkers though. I think that's okay. Six creatures is not a lot. This is like a. A control deck through and through. <laughs> oh man, what's our win con? Uh, creatures. We make creatures and you attack with them. That's how. That's how a lot of Magic games are won. Sword seems meh here? I disagree. I mean, we have plenty of guys. Six line. This is basically get back to guys. Master, hostage taker, Seagate Oracle, Draw Tree Speaker, Lumbering Falls. Like, this is. It's nine. Yeah, I could see. I could see. Uh, Devoted Jiro or Farseek. The problem is like if if the, the problem is I really don't want them to kill my two drop mana accelerant, right? I, I I want I want to be able to go two drop into one of these guys. Oracle is meh? Oracle's Oracle's just fine. Oracle draws you a card and wears a sword, buddy. Come on, buddy. I do like Tasker though. Especially with the far seek and the rampant growth, because we can just easily put them in the graveyard. Maybe we don't need the disfigure. I can see boarding in the disfigure. I would not. I would not cut a creature in this deck. We have seven creatures. Oracle's fantastic. It blocks all the early guys and it draws you a card and it wears a sword. Like it does tons of things. Right. I'm not saying no one's saying bird and land or elves aren't great. I'm saying that if I have the option to play one of these that does the same thing that I want from this, I'm going to do it. However, one upside of this is that we could potentially plow under on three. Uh, which is a selling point for me. So I'm actually going to take Rampant Growth out for Devoted Druid based on the fact that we can plow under on turn three with a with a Devoted Druid, which is pretty, pretty bonkers. All right, let's look at lands. Definitely heaviest green and blue. Black is a pretty light splash, actually. Only five black cards. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. I'll say okay on that. Seven black. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten green? Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten, eight, seven? Yeah, that seems good. I'm okay with that. We definitely want more green because we have Farseek, Devoted Druid, and Draga Tree Speaker. It seems fine. And we have Garrick, which is triple green. Mm. 
No, they were saying boo urns. Hunter, stop. Again, Hunter looking at himself. Like there ain't no tomorrow. I'm free as a bird now. And as a bird now. We also have uh, Tree Speaker, Druid, Farseek, and Demir Signet to ramp us. So that's pretty nice. I got a rampant growth in the sideboard. I will play first. Uh keep. This is a great hand. Two turn four two turn three plays actually. And if we hit that uh you know, the old uh plow under. What if there isn't a tomorrow? Now you spent your last day on our shaming hunter for living his best life. <laughs> I would actually I'd feel bad about that. That would be a Oh god. Lucky, 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 lucky. Well, now instead of having to draw no lands because we could double activate this to cast either of these, we have to draw two lands. I guess one down. Oh boy. Magic's a magic is a game. Magic is a game. Oh, this look at this, look at this idiot. They know we have this, right? I'm not going to do it now, because if you ever want to, like, pump... Like, like, it's not really a threat unless you pump some things into it. Elk Tears, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your movie. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, Sarah, thank you so much for the kafifi. Really appreciate it. Okay, so they just main phased made a guy. If they actually waited until the end of the turn, we could have... So now we just Maelstrom Pulse, right? And kill the rats? I mean, this seems like a great deal. I mean, we get to we have to wait a turn to do anything else, but that seems okay. They didn't do anything else. I'm one, two. This is like the perfect Kiora turn. Uh, this is just a hoodie. It's actually a Brotherhood of Steel hoodie. It's a it's a Bethesda Brotherhood of Steel hoodie. Around that time, I was like, man, we have to draw at least two more lands, and we drew all the lands. Vraska's contempt, of course. Oh god. So that's a good one. Acidic slime. Not even close. One, two, three, four. We've drawn so we've drawn it's turn six. So we've literally drawn five lands. We had two lands in our hand. One, two, three, four, five. We have drawn five lands off the top, and they have had an answer for every single card we've played. That's relatively impressive. I guess when you only have four cards total, it's pretty... Or three three cards total that, that need to be dealt with, it's pretty easy to, to deal with them. What do we have? Find finality, so I kind of want to leave the master in the graveyard. One, two, three, four. But then again, I kind of don't as well, because I can activate Tassiger if I take everything out. I think we're actually just going to go to Druid. And that should be fine. So, one, two. One, two, three, four. And if we get to untap, it's good. They have one card in hand. What are the odds they can kill Tassiger? He's a four, five. He's a big dude. They probably don't have anything, right? No way. I'm going to actually... 
lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, I had one card in hand, so I, I, I gambled on them not having anything because I wanted to get back the Maelstrom Pulse at some point uh, in order to kill the Bitter Blossom. So... Yep, this feels significantly worse now, but I guess they get to draw two lands. <sighs> I'm just actually going to time warp here. There's no situation where, like, like, we're going to really take advantage of it. If we play Garrick, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, if we time warp, we can only spend 3 mana that turn. Yeah, that's better. Do we have a way to actually deal with 3 one, one flying fairies? Finality. Seems good. <laughs> but I'd rather just get two creatures back here. So I'm going to do that instead. Uh, that and that. Because they're just three, they're just one one. So we're going to, yeah, this is why we actually kept the guy in the graveyard. Wow, did you see that? That was weird. One, two, three, four. Green, uh, unfortunately, our two greens are here. Oh, but we have a black here, so never mind. So we can go one, two, three, four, one, two, and then exile all of our graveyard. Again, that doesn't seem great. But maybe it's fine. I think I'd rather just get the Tassiter on the board here, especially because Master also takes care of the fairies. So, yep, Find Finality is a good card. And we still have Lumbering Falls, so we can actually pressure them with enough damage here. Master also gets to kill a token every turn. Uh, no blockers. I don't have any flying creatures, match. Two? Sure. Well, now I see what's happening here. <sighs> I guess we're activating here. One, two, three, four. The nice thing is if it's a land and another card, we get the land. They're not going to give us Disallow, are they? What? I'm like, no way you give us Disallow. Zero chance. Um, I like Hostage Terror because we can take this guy next turn and then kill them. Well, not kill them, but cast it. You know what I'm saying. One, two... We take two more, we go to five. We take two more, we go to three. Yep, that was interesting. So I'm pretty sure you have a reanimation uh, spell arena. This is where they like unburial rights. Oh, or they just wanted to trade, I guess. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess we can kill them if they have nothing, right? Uh, 
No, we can't. One of these guys is not. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, it's only thirteen. One, two, three, four. All right, your move. Yep, go to three. Get your gray merchant back and kill us. No. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Ooh, this deck's a little scary. Yeah. Had a feeling. Pro Black seems great. We already have, actually, we already have Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Light and Shadow. The, the life gain seems really relevant. I actually want both swords in here now. Nature's Claim. Oh, actually, Duress seems great as well. Deals with their things. Harvester could be good. I, I worry about our, our consistency to be able to crew the Harvester, though. Druid can't crew it. Um, so we only have seven creatures that can actually crew it. I want to take Time Warp out. And this cube Time Warp it actually consistently underwhelms me. I think this is okay. I will keep. Every time taking the devoted druid. Pretty nice. <laughs> we should put in a target so we have another crew to. Uh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Well, we are all very proud of you. Can this guy exile enchantments? No. Well, it is non-token creature, so that's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this another situation where we've like only drawn lands? Well, they didn't do anything, so they clearly just have a million. Uh, I don't want them to get another guy, so I'm probably just going to Assassin's Trophy this. Enjoy your swamp. That guy's good, but he is going to get crushed. We did win game one, yes. We're playing this because it's the, the one of the few creatures I actually don't mind getting killed here. By Hero's Downfall, Dismember, sure. Which member? Dismember. I am saving the Lily for the Hostage Taker, that is... That is correct. So not next turn, but the turn after. Oh, I made two pack rats during my turn. 
Western Pulse, Lumbering Falls, not the same. I too have a pack rat. <laughs> I no longer have a hostage taker because you have all the removals in the world. Like, their deck is actually particularly strong against us because we have so few creatures. We also have two pro-black swords, though, which is... Uh, where did the other creature go? Oh, they killed them both. That's good. Um. Well, I think we're dead. We can play and block here, but then we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that'll be the end. Oh, actually, if they if we took this, they would get the walker. Yeah, because I always forget they flip. They exile. So that is true. We actually have Abrupt Decay, Assassin's Trophy, Maelstrom Pulse, and Vivian Reed and Acidic Slime to deal with, and Duress to deal with their Bitter Blossom. We have six six Bitter Blossom answers, which is kind of nice. What up, Inikido? Keep this hand. Let's see if you have Inquisition all three games. <sighs> William, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or a good night, whatever you want to call it. No Inquisition, to the surprise of just me. And of course, the one game they don't have Inquisition is the one game we don't have a two-drop. It's so elegant in its, in its weirdness. Oh, that guy's dead. Not a fan of that guy. And then we get to play either one of these on an open board, which is nice. Rashmi is actually probably the first one we're going to play. They want to kill it. It's fine, I guess. They only have a Liliana on board, which is good for us. <clears throat> and if we Jace, then we think Jace is just exposed here. So, And they have to spend their turn killing Rashmi, which is not great, but fine. Beans and cornbread. Oh, I see. That's basically the same thing. I mean, I probably would have waited because if you draw a three drop, you get to play the three drop and slaughter pack, but then, I don't know. I guess then maybe you get to play a four drop next turn, so. Oh, they didn't hit a land. Fascinating. Let's go you and Blooming March. Next turn we can go Jace Farseek. Now they hit a land. Vraska's Contempt. It's nice because we're putting them in a position that they have to deal with uh, the things we're doing. So now we get to play Jace and bounce this. And then they can't both deal with Jace and one, two, three blue, green, two, three, four, five green, and two black. Let's just get Watery Grave. It seems like an easy choice. I mean, they could just have Vraska's Contempt slash Hero's Downfall, and they probably don't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Come on, dude.
Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Shut up and take my money. Thanks for being here after the world's longest workday after working in the dark. Everix, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Cool. I mean, alternatively, I guess we could have just plus just just brainstormed with Jace for the advantage. But I mean, it's, things would still happen pretty similarly. So, yep. Now we're playing this because Liliana has a little ability. So they dealt with Jace. They dealt with Master. They dealt with Rashmi. Seems good. Well, I'm in awe. Well, it doesn't really do much, does it? <laughs> oh, boy. This doesn't feel real. This feels absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> this guy has, yeah, uh, sure. You know what, whatever. I feel like I'm not even playing the game anymore. I'm just kind of... One, two, three, four to activate this, and then we don't have enough to do this as well. But next turn, but then they still have duplicate, which is pretty hilarious, which just means this guy's not getting through because they happen to have a six mana colorless creature. Yikes. This is an interesting strategy. You just eat the Dark Confidant. Could have attacked. I mean, why would we, we were just gonna attack into the duplicate? That doesn't make much sense. Discard a card, make a pack rat. This is a plus two ability. It's pretty scary. That's a good one. <laughs> so five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then they make another rat with whatever card they draw and kill us. I just don't have any words. Like, this game was actually ridiculous. I don't even have words for this stupid, idiotic mono black deck. That just literally had the perfect answers for everything. I don't know. It's I mean, it's not really idiotic. It's just frustrating, I guess. Sure. Yeah, I guess I was out of my element. go no black source <laughs> just gonna wait here we go
I mean, Kiora's pretty good on... Uh, we, we just counter their next play, and then we play Kiora in plus on a Danto Vanguard, which is pretty okay. Well, that's a good one. All right. We're, do we're doing it. I mean, casting the other spells in our hand is not what we're doing, but we're doing something here. It's going to be Blooming Marsh. Devoted Druid. Is this standard? Yeah, this is standard. Well, they're playing standard. We're we're playing uh we're playing modern. It's a little bit of 50-50. Wow. It's a lot of things. They didn't even attack. Why didn't they attack with the vampire? That's weird. Well, we gotta hit a land drop here. Well, we can still only play one card in our hand. I don't think any of these things are particularly good. I kind of just want to keep up Abrupt Decay, but Devoted Druid actually lets us play... Um, Garrick or Vivian next turn. Not that I think that's any good. That's actually fine. This is nice because I can actually use the white to. Oh, they're crewing with that guy? That's fascinating. Hmm. I want to crew with the vampire to make a 2 2 here. Then I can't block. I mean, we're definitely bringing in uh, Disfigure, so that's nice. So we can go Vivian Reed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We can go Vivian Reed and, like, Abrupt Decay the Trophy, which is nice. Um... Two, three, four, five. Abrupt decay the trophy? No, that doesn't make any sense. Abrupt decay. I don't know. This guy, I guess. Now we can untap this, and I guess we're not going to play the black, right? We're just going to use blues for this. Some people wait like the, the moment. Get rid of you. Could just also play tree speaker that to add to but then we're losing like what are we what are we gonna do here we're gonna block we're not blocking anybody right this guy becomes a two 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 three four five six yeah I definitely want to keep up abrupt decay here
Oh, they didn't, they didn't pump at the end of their turn. That's interesting. What? This is sacks four or five? It's five, right? Okay. That's good. <laughs> I seriously laugh every time I see the name Valtrex Pummelgroin. It's a it's a pretty fantastic name. Okay. Wait, what did they just do? I have no idea what just happened. Why? Why do they pay five mana? All at Vivian, huh? I mean, we could block here and pump and keep Vivian alive, which is actually kind of strong. Yeah, I like the option of that. I <laughs> gave indestructible. It's negative. All right, well, sure. Sure. Oh, we actually could have... We messed up, too, though. We could have actually sacrificed this to uh, not gain them life. So I guess we both... We both misplayed there. Oh. Oh, I see. Let's hit a land. Hostage taker, play this. Oh, wow. Well, we're being rewarded here very heavily. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think they just skipped right to the three-man ability and tried to make him a 4-4, four -four, and I was like, eh, that's not going to work the way you think it works. But I don't know why the, the two swamps were tapped. That's what I don't understand, because they don't need that to do anything. Okay. Main phase, make a dude. I'm on board. Where are my planes at? Oh, well, that's a good dude. Okay. And by planes, I meant forests. I don't know why I said planes there. So we're definitely going to play Jace. We're probably just taking a land here. Uh, specifically, a green land that will come into play untapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can actually play this, Jace, and keep up Trophy. Or we can also just play Jace, Tree Speaker, and Pump Tree Speaker. They only have Figure of Destiny in their graveyard, so I'm not terrified of that. We have plenty of blockers. we play a land this turn? I believe we did. We played a Hinterland Harbor. So. Let's put land and Garrick back. All right. I think we're surviving here. Can whip get back vehicles? No, only creatures. 
vehicles were not a thing when uh when whip of Erebus came out and and vehicles are not naturally creatures they're just they're just vehicles they're just artifacts so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine mana now so pro black doesn't do what we want it to do we do have we have the white sword in the sideboard which is pretty good we have the actually the the white black sword in the sideboard which is pretty nice Keep in mind, we can also Assassin's Trophy the Westvale Abbey. Oh, we can also do that. Uh, yeah, that's one, two. Uh, let's put you, and I'll even put the Lumbering Falls back. So now we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Garrick. One, two. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Plow under Westvale Abbey and Abbot of Adonto. I don't know. I said Abbot. And destroy the whip of. Oh, actually, I don't want. I don't want to lose my my Vivian Reed. So we're gonna look at the top three. We'll get the Lumbering Falls back. I think it's the better land. Make a dude. And we'll pass with three of our super friends up. And they conceded from the game. That'll do. I did not think we were winning this game. I thought we were pretty far behind there. And we're definitely bringing in the other sword. That is both of their colors. Disfigure also coming in. I mean, I can see rest coming in. They have uh, Smuggler's Copter. They have Whip of Erebos. They have... Legion's Landing, but they'd always play that. Like, there's no situation where we're going to be able to duress them. Uh, I don't think there's any problem with vehicles becoming standard. In fact, most planes, like Ravnica, Innistrad, Ixalan, wherever, are going to have some form of vehicle. So instead of making, like, um, like a, a spooky carriage on Innistrad as an artifact creature, you can just make it a vehicle because it makes sense that, like, um, you can also even have like it's it's nice because it opens a lot of design space where you're like only spirits can crew this you know or something like that right so like it's a limited card not limited as in like the format limited but it's it's more limited in its in its active in its abilities but that's you that's nice it's nice to have restrictions breed creativity and then you get to play I think I actually harvester is probably okay but again we don't have many creatures that can that can really tangle. Actually, Dungeon Guys seems good here, too, because they don't seem to have many ways to interact with it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to play 42 here. Uh, I'll probably take Cure out. She seems pretty weak. Uh, but I don't even know if you need... Yeah, but, like, the, the appropriate level of technology is pretty much all of them, right? Like, because even Ixalan... Ixalan's going to have ships... Like every vehicle has, or every every plane has some form of a vehicle, right? Like even if it's like a carriage, you know, they don't all have to be like Kaladesh, like you know, spacecrafts. They could just be like wacky carriage. Yeah, like a goblin wagon vehicle, exactly. Like only goblins can crew this or something, and then you can actually have the ability to be a little more powerful because. It's very limited, you know, it's very restrictive. Which I think is a sweet area to explore. Well, that's nice to have, but... I'm actually going to keep this untapped because uh, they're probably going to play a guy, and I don't want to really waste my third turn not... Dis my second turn not disfiguring. I don't want to waste my third turn disfiguring and then have them not be able to play sword into Jace. Yeah, that... she She did. Oh, she did. You know what? I'll take the hit first, and then we'll kill her. <laughs> Just figured doing the work already. And we can actually start gaining some life with Sword of Light and Shadow at some point. Lumbering Falls would require four to activate and then two to, two to equip. So we'd have to have seven mana to actually equip the Lumbering Falls. 
What up, Mike? Smuggler's Copter is pretty obnoxious, but again, we have a million things to deal with it. We just haven't drawn any of them. And, of course, Jace is not going to really help us out in that area. We're like one shy of casting Tassiger here. Well, isn't that special? Well, I don't think they'll actually have a way to deal with the Tassiger next turn, though. So, let's do that. So, we're going to bounce with this dude. Uh, or do we just... I'm just going to brainstorm here. Uh, okay. I want to put two lands back, and then we're going to shuffle at least one of them away with this far seek, I think. But Acidic Slime coming down and being able to kill the Smuggler's Copter is nice. We're going to probably take a million here. We're going to take like six. Yeah, definitely a little... <laughs> definitely. A little, I don't know. I don't understand like the... I've talked about this before, um, about how I don't actually understand the streaming, like magic streaming. Like I, I don't get like why my views are what they are. Um, like Island Grown has five hundred. I don't even know who that is. Like I don't like I just don't I don't understand like. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Especially after, uh, you know, everything that happened, I'm really surprised that the Todd Stevens is... Is it my controversial past? I don't think I, I don't, I definitely don't think my past is that controversial. And, uh, we're literally talking about Todd Stevens. So probably not. I would imagine. Hmm. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to keep two up and we have to pay. So we get what? One, we have four mana. I stream literally six days a week. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, I don't think. Uh, if you guys have any honest opinions or possible criticisms, please take them to the Discord channel. I would appreciate it. Because I really don't want to. I don't want to air anybody. I, I have no I, I have no interest in talking about gossip uh, in the in the stream chat. Literally none, so. Um, so we're just gonna go one, two, three, four. Exile. Well, yeah, but they're not, like that's only true for some people. Like that's not true for Todd Stevens, that's not true for Gabby Sparts, it's not true for, I mean, I think some of the other top streamers who are playing, um, uh, who are playing, like, it's not true for Gabriel Nassif, Jim Davis, like, it's, there's a bunch of people ahead of me that, that actually are magic players that stream, you know, so, um, I mean, I'm satisfied with the number of subs and, and, and followers and viewers I have, I'm totally satisfied with it. But I do see things like that, and I'm like, where is this coming from? Like I have, a, like I say this a lot, but I like I have a Pro Tour top eight, I have a Grand Prix top eight, I've written for either you know TCG Player, Star City Games, or Channel Fireball for ten years. Uh, I wrote for Newmont Gaming, I wrote for MTG Car. Like I've literally written for almost every site under the sun. I was went to the Community Cup, you know, and um, like I know my resume is there. We're tasigering and we're equipping, and. I want to I want to figure out which card I'm keeping in the graveyard to do this. 
probably acidic slime. I don't care about disfigure. Jace is pretty strong. We'll take the acidic slime out. And then we're going to equip here so that they can't have any shenanigans. Anyway, no worries. I'm not super concerned with views or, uh, uh, I guess, just views. Like, it doesn't really bug me. I don't understand it. I wish I had a clear understanding of it so then I could work on whatever issue there is. Like, if someone's like, I don't like this guy because of this, I'd be like, okay, let me let me see if I can adjust that or let me see if I can work on that. But um, without that information, there's nothing you can really do. So it's just kind of like, I'll stream every day and I will cultivate the awesome, awesome, awesome community and chat that we guys that we have and uh that's that's all you can do you know so super cool i mean if they said my face i'd be like can't really do it i guess yeah my slow burn to the top has taken 10 years so it's it's one of the slowest burns in history All right, so they did it. They turned it into a 2-2 this time. So anyway, that is that's I don't think that's rude at all. Um, I just don't understand. I, I guess I don't understand that. I don't put myself out there and play in events really. Like maybe that's it. Like everybody else is, but also Wizards doesn't really uh, cling to me like they cling to these other people. So I'm gonna actually just do one of these jobbies. I mean, I'm not sure how much more marketing I, I can do. Like I've I. Uh, it posts to Twitter. It posts to Facebook. It uh, people get notifications. Like, actually, maybe what are we doing here? I don't want to far seek. I do want to attack and gain some life, but I also don't want to attack and gain some life. So what do I wonder? They can't actually pump this guy next turn. Or an oracle here. <sighs> do, 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 do. Vivian Reed, always a pleasure. I think this is fine. We're going to be gaining three, so. Even if we took all of this, we'd only take two total. I mean, I guess they could play. If we left acidic slime in the graveyard, it'd be fine. Like we could get acidic slime back here, but um, I'd still rather have Jace. Like at a point where we hit two lands off of two lands off of Tassiger, we get to get Jace back. Yeah, I, thank you, uh, Bucket Chinai. Thanks for for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, I actually. I actually like my, my layout a great deal. What do you get rid of here? The two creatures or the sword? Oh, the sword and the creature. Fascinating. Well, now that Assassin's Trophy is going to be nice. Plow under, huh? So we can go... One, two, Assassin's Trophy or Quarantine Field. So one of the interesting things is that I feel like I don't appeal to the spikes. 
Um, is that it? Is that the is that the term? I always get Spike and Johnny confused. The Johnnies. I don't know. I'll take a master here. And green, green. Plow both of your planes. All right. How many times people concede after plow under is just unreal. You're just like, well, I can't do anything after that, I guess. All right, so I'm going to bring in bring in Dungeon Geist. I'm going to take out the Time Warp. I don't like taking out the Time Warp because we have a bunch of creatures, but or a bunch of Planeswalkers, rather, but what are you going to do? Prism 100, what didn't you like about it? Because you're obviously a sub now. I really appreciate the support, by the way. What didn't you like about it? Because I got a bunch of sass. Like, on TCG Player, I was one of the most popular authors on TCG Player. People loved the articles. They always loved the decks that I brought to the table. And then I went to Channel Fireball, and it was half people loving my stuff, and half people just randomly shit at me for no real reason. And it was very strange, because that was the first time I really experienced, like, Magic players literally just hating something, because they're kind of, you know, socially inept. So... <laughs> I've grown to understand his love. Appreciate it. Although that's not that's not humor. My love for Publix is no joke. You get mana screwed and rolled into the one one bracket. Let's not talk about. It. <laughs> oh, good times. Like, see, this is what I mean. Like, almost every match I play, literally, almost like probably, I'd probably say at least seventy percent of the matches I play in Magic Online. Um, have people acknowledging my my match like that I'm that I'm me, and also saying something complimentary like "Hey, love your stuff" or "Good luck" or you know whatever, and that's super cool. So the my, like the audience is out there. I don't know. I think it seemed arrogant if I remember correctly. I was still making some mistakes, but I realized after watching you and Mike, you just yeah, like I'm definitely not arrogant. I just I think it's just a matter of like, yeah, that's just my personality. I think I think it's, and one of the big problems was I I think if you could see my face when I was making the channel fireball videos, I think that might have aided things as well. Oh, sort of feast in fact. They get to look at your hand. Wow, I'm such an idiot. I do like an MG Piranha, so I have Spike. MG has a Spike platform now that Arena's taken all the casuals. I have tuned out when you've been struggling with Salt, and like since I'm a grind my whole life, Salt, and I can't deal with it anymore, even if it's minor, just my two cents. No, that's not negative. I appreciate that. It's something I struggle with as well, but I think I've been doing, I feel like I've been doing better about it. I actually was like, well, how did they know? And then I forgot this lets you literally see your hand, and I was like, oh, that's right. I totally forgot. I was like, really? And I was like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's not how that works at all. Let's go. You and you, I guess. We'll far seek. We'll get the overgrown tomb or the watery grave. What do we got? Blue, blue, blue. Green, green, green. Black. So it's definitely a black source, but they're both black sources. I guess we'll go overgrown tomb.
I think you should totally have the coolest and clients just for your content, like very high quality lectures, caps. That would be sick if I could actually do like nice stuff, you know, like actual. But not only do I enjoy your content a great, great deal now, you're the only channel that I'm allowed to watch while my girlfriend's present. She even starts to know the whole cast. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, hey, it's, uh, we got, we got Swole Mike on today. Uh, I kind of just want to kill your thing. Sometimes food is better with those. I actually, I, I'm appreciating all of this, uh, this feedback, by the way. We could actually kill the island, which is probably pretty strong here. So, honestly, let me, let me talk about salt for a second. And this is going to be an interesting little rant. Um... I think one of the main reasons I struggled with salt so much is because I put a lot of value on each individual game, right? Like when I was, when I would lose a game on magic online, um, not only did I lose all of the time I invested in the game, but the drafts and magic online are not actually cheap, right? Like a magic online draft costs like 12 tickets, which if you have to translate in real, in real world dollars, it's like 12 bucks and it's not nothing. You know what I mean? So, it got to a point where, like, if I lost a draft, I would get especially salty because I just lost a significant amount of money on, like, something that was as silly as, you know, getting mana screwed or my opponent top decking the greatest card. So it was really hard to be like, wow, you know, I am, I'm, I'm playing magic um, and, and streaming and creating content to make a living. But it's actually like I'm spending more money than I'm making sometimes, you know. Not that was never the case, but it definitely felt bad because I'm like, you know, if I've if there were like fifteen dollars in donations one day, and then I had to spend twelve dollars to start another draft, I'm like, did I really even net anything? So financially, there were there were like sometimes it was hard because you could feel yourself like backtracking, you know. Um, whereas like, I feel like I've gotten to a point now where like in terms of streaming and YouTubing and, and all of the content I produce, um, I feel a, a, a significant deal more financially secure. And I think that's contributed a lot to me just being able to shrug off losses because they're not that big of a deal. Like they don't affect me as greatly, I would say. Probably shouldn't have played a land because they can still... Cr no, they can't actually bounce this. So they can't really do anything to this. Man, Hexproof is a hell of a drug. I feel like I just missed a bunch of stuff. How much do you make per sub each month? Um, three fifty per sub. So, like, I used to make two fifty, and then... Twitch actually recently upgraded to me to the highest tier, which is three fifty out of the five dollars per sub. So that was a that was a pretty sweet moment. They could bounce it with the activation on the stack, right? Uh, you're one hundred percent able to share that information. Like it's pretty common knowledge. Like it's I the 250 is definitely common knowledge and the 350 has been uh definitely been mentioned before on social media platforms. I don't think it's any it's no big secret. Yeah, YouTube I have no set way to know. Like I can't tell. From from like one thing from one day to the next I have literally no idea how much I'm going to be making on YouTube. Well, that's that's hard to deal with. It's also not a green or a black card. And it has 5,000 toughness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a land. We're going to equip Tassiger. One, two, three, four, five, six. And not going to have enough. We're going to be one shy. All right. That's fine. Two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to activate. 
Get rid of both of these. Yep, can't equip and activate. Eh. Um, Josh, I appreciate you saying so. I just, I don't think that's going to be holding me back from growth. But I mean, like, it does happen to all of us, but I really don't, even for my opponents, I don't see it happening to them as frequently. Like, I don't, I think that's accurate, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's actually a meme, right? Like my opponent said, you get mana screwed and rolled into the one, one bracket. Like it's literally a meme at this point. So, I mean, like, I think there's a point where like, it's really not. Also, I yeah, I really I, I'd appreciate it. Like, I didn't want to have this conversation in the chat. I'd really rather have it in like Discord or something. I see. Well, consecrated sphinx into mind control is nice. Well, we're getting a Seagate Oracle, boys. Maelstrom Pulse, Assassin's Trophy, something good. Find Finality, which kills neither of their creatures, and we have no creatures in our graveyard. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? They have eight cards in their hand. That's pretty amazing. Uh, we can't kill anything. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I don't know what happened to this game. I mean, they're playing blue-red, and we have swords that protect from white, black, and green. Woodfall Primus seems like a nice top end. I'm going to bring that in over, like... Pro Actually, Kiora seems decent in this matchup. So does Duress. I got the find finality. I'll just go 41 here. Uh, we can animate land and equip, but I mean, they have a. F oh, they they did they attack with the consecrated sphinx? I wasn't sure if they attacked with that. I think they did. Uh, I will keep this hand because it leads to a turn three Jace potentially if uh, if nothing goes wrong. Shut up and take my money. What happened now? Okay, so now that I have like some for six months, right? Not gonna lie, you're a good content creator. If I could donate you a month's rent, I would. You're the first person I've donated to, so you got that. Jace the Power Bottom, thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. Also, you're like, if I could donate you a month's rent, I would. I don't even, like, that's such an awesome gesture that I never, I, God, people say that a lot. They're like, I wish I could give more, and I'm like, don't even worry about it. I appreciate every little bit because you guys are great. Jace, Jace the Power Bottom, you definitely did. And uh, as usual, your name is on point, sir. Uh, do we get to play this? I mean, we get to try and then hope they don't have Mana Leak, Remand, or Spell Pierce, or Sensor. And. Lucky, 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 lucky. They always do. Mike, I also wish you can get me a job with you, but. Uh... All right, let's try again. Hey, 
That's pretty good. This mountain does not deal any damage. So if they have a cough. Nope. Just an incinerate. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, God. One, no land. Nope, just a Maelstrom Pulse. Okay, we're doing well. I guess we get to keep up Disallow, and then if we hit a land, we get to Vivian Reed, so. Some people are just unhirable. <laughs> Boy, don't I know it. Uh, all right. Keep on, keep on keeping on. It's okay, it's only a 2-3. You can kill her immediately. It's okay, we got this. We're hanging on. We're hanging on less so now because I don't want to actually take down the shields, but I almost feel like it's kind of a necessity here. Let's get Overgrown Tomb. I mean, our hand is good. We have Trophy to prevent them from drawing with Consecrated Sphinx. really want to play anything though when we have two counter spells and they have cryptic command mana and seven cards I'll just pass here I I think I think Rashmi is also overrated I think she's a super cool card and I like the effect but a 2 3 for 4 is just not doing what you want it to do. Do I not play a blue? And they would have went to 8 cards. But the selection is pretty important there, I think. Come on, don't have remand or like we play around sensor, we're not playing around spell pierce. They can have remand basically. Well, we get a free turn. Not much to do with it, but it does exist. Something good. It's not great but it does take them off the cryptic command mana if that was a concern of ours Woodfall Primus can take another blue but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be super relevant Pretty good. All right. Okay. I'm just going to take that and I will Maelstrom Pulse your face and keep up the disallow. Oh, uh, I actually don't hang out in other streamers' chats. Like, that seems... I've hung out I hung out in Ollie's chat recently. Hmm. They have four cards in their hand. Fascinating. I mean, we do get to Woodfall Primus next turn, unless they counter it. They'll probably counter it. I'm getting Laporte over here when he draws a million lands. Like, come on. That's not a me thing. Or that's not a... That's not me being, like, ridiculous about it. Like, that's a thing, dude. All 
I mean, it's not like a superstitious thing where I'm the universe is against me or, you know, the. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do this. Let's let's take a little gander. Oh, I was a mod because I literally said to Ollie, I'm like, hey man, make me a mod. And then uh And then he made me a mod. So I'm gonna pay the cost. Snapperino. Pact of negation. Fascinating. And casting pact of negation. Wow, you must have like a really you must have a thing going on here. Come on, Woodfall Primus, get rid of the land. Uh, no attacks. I don't care about your Snapcaster mod G. Well, paying five of the six. I don't know what they have in hand, but they're really protecting it there. I was like, get out of here and start streaming. What are you doing in this chat? Go do your own. Yeah, like it's weird because like after you stream for five to six hours a day at least, like the last thing you want to do is go into another stream and watch more magic. Like it's just very uh Thank you. It's just not the thing you want to do. An anonymous user, thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Are you just gonna win via Woodfall Primus that we boarded in? I really think this should have been in the main deck. Like, we just don't have a lot of creatures, and like, this is a nice top end to sink all our mana into. Yep, that's probably what we were. Red bottom girls make me rock and roll. Crater's Claws, the us. Oh, wow, this is actually great. Because we can Assassin's Trophy this, and they no longer have Ferocious. So the Acidic Slime lives. And it doesn't matter, because we're going to kill them with Woodfall Primus. I'll GG you. Before going to game three. <laughs> They're like, no search. I'm good. We know what's happening here. If we trophy the Primus, it just becomes smaller and they still get the land. Primus comes back, we kill a land, and then they search for another land. I almost want Nature's Claim. What do they have? They just ha The only thing we saw was like mind control, but it's really obnoxious. I'm also tempted to just bring in Sensor. In case they like Windmill Slam a... A dude. I'm leaving the Rashmian just because, like, it is a creature, and we have ten creatures in our deck. Although, to be honest, their amount of removal is... Counter spells are obnoxious. Sword is actually pretty bad. I'm gonna bring in Sensor over the Sword. I do like a Tarka. I, I actually wanted to bring a Tarka in. We just don't have any way to splash red other than Copper Line Gorge and a Mountain. <coughs> I'm not sure my mana base really wants all that nonsense going on. I 
I traded cards for Fallout 76 and we all know I lost on that one. Yes, I have seen, I've watched tons and tons of reviews about Fallout 76 and uh, I, I was disappointed to say the least. Keep. Mike, do you really? That's surprising. I'm I might be the biggest Fallout fan ever and uh it does not look great. I guess we're just going to play Island here and then Watergrave in the forest. Yeah, but so Fallout 76 Satisfactory Hoarding Urges, but like Fallout 4 already did that. Did it not? Like, I mean, I feel like Fallout 4 was already su satisfying my hoarding urges quite, quite sufficiently. Oh, is he missing a land drop? Oh, boy. Oh, my. Uh, you're going to come in down for free. We are going to play a Devoted Druid here. Because I don't really want to throw my good cards out into your bad cards. Especially because we saw Mana Leak. You have seven cards. Oh, there we go. So long, Devoted Druid. You had a, you had a good run. Oh, interesting. Now I think we can try to run Acidic Slime out here because we didn't see any single mana counter spells other than that. So, here we go. And maybe they have something? I don't know. Yep. That's fine. It just comes right back. I'm not going to say it's a good game, but it is more Fallout. Yes, that is one of the main things that I considered. I was like, you know what? That is true. But I also don't want that to be exploited. You know, I don't want that fact to be like... Like, don't be using that. One, two, three, four. Play Kiora. Kiora. Kiora, can you hear me? How are you? I had a modern cube game recently where I got Vivian on and turned to... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Are we going to be cracking this game? I don't think so. I think we just might want to draw the extra card. And play the extra land. Seems good. So now if they kill it, we already drew a card. So now this is how you get that advantage, boys and girls. Ladies and gentle, gentle folk. And good night, nurse. You could pack of negation this, but that's not great because we have acidic slime. Yeah, you don't want to do that. When do we cycle? Never. Literal never. Four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Let's play one of these two ladies and gentlemen. Let's play the guy that makes dudes. And if they want a pact here, that's okay. Garrick is a buff lady. Who's that lady? Who's that buff lady? Garrick lady. What a primal lady. Yeah, they were going to steal this and draw a card and play an extra land. And I was like... We ain't having that. Incinerate. She did her job. Um, so now we are going to Acidic Slime because that's a thing we can do. Let's get rid of this island. Keep you off them six manners. Uh, 
I'm gonna... Do I just draw three here? God, that seems really strong. I think we're actually good to just keep making beasts. I feel like we can draw three next turn, but this is a good board. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's fine. Look at that, getting all slimy. Killing my lumber and falls? Dang. If I had one more land, I could have activated it in response. And we can't actually, I don't want Maelstrom Pulse, because then we kill both of them. That's just sad. Let's draw three here. Let's do one of these jobbies, just to see what's, see, see what's cracking. You can't pack to negation this, buddy. Time warp and they did they do have it. Wow, that's pretty sweet. This hand is stack arenoed. Alright. Oh, I guess it's actually gonna show us because it is a duress. Okay. Um This is a something. Uh I think we probably take packed here. Oh, it would die before Pulse resolves. It would actually counter the Pulse. Yeah, that's a good point. I forgot it was a Phantasmal Image and not like a clone of some other sort. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not going to have enough mana to do all the things, unfortunately. Actually, we can play this in Pulse. That's pretty good. I want to take the Time Warp because I, I want to think that our board is going to be so far ahead that like I don't care if you... You can't pack to now, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna attack with two guys and see what happens. And then we're probably just gonna play Vivian Reed. I mean, realistically, I still don't wanna waste a Maelstrom Pulse on that guy, so. Man, Jace the Mind Sculptor going to the bottom is no bueno. Well, you drew something. Evoke Muldrifter? Crater's Claws Garrick for two. That was unfortunate, but... Such is life. Woodfall Primus. Let's get rid of that final island. No, but four cards. One, two, three, four. I think we're just going to go rash me into... One, two, three, four. Rash me into... Let's play Tassiger, actually. One, two, three. Actually, we can probably exile a bunch of things from our graveyard. So we're going to go... Delve for, we'll get rid of Sensor, Devoted Druid, Lumbering Falls, Duress, and... Do we not pay a black? Why is it like this? Alright, black. There we go. Duress, Lumbering Falls, Kiora, Sensor, Devoted Druid. And we can still activate Tasker, which is pretty good. So we know they draw Creator's Claws, so their hand is still identical. Not going to play Master here. I'd rather just activate Tasker and keep pulling ahead. I don't want to throw everything on the board in case they have like a Sweltering Suns or uh, Anger of the Gods or something. No, well, we, they hit a land there, which is not a, an island, but they can play a Muldrifter. But then we deal 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm pretty sure this game's over. But they can counter this. It's an option. I 
I believe this is the last game. <laughs> Good games. Cop the mana screw. And 2-1. Not terrible. Not terrible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, be sure to uh, check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are both in the description below. And you can check MeUndies.com slash FrankLaport for 15% off free shipping and free delivery. That's the same thing. And free returns is what I meant. And uh, you'll get really, really comfortable micromodal underwear, socks, pants, uh, onesies, tees, pretty much anything you can think of. And uh, helps you. It helps the stream. And it's a great value. And you guys can... Uh, attest to that in the stream as you guys have done before. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.